folks, so we're heading down for day two of CMON Expo. This is uh, the Saturday, so I expect that we're gonna see a lot more people. And we're gonna head on down, I'm ready to go. Uh, head on down and we'll see what things are like. Just a second. All right, so it's 10 in the morning and we definitely have more people out here. All right, folks, so I'm just gonna head on out on the floor, interact with some people, take a look at some more games, and I'll check back in with you guys. In Way of the Panda. Okay. It's interesting. I only got like two round demos, so it's like not enough to like really judge okay. like this game. Uh, Arcadia Quest Riders looks great, um, especially if you like Arcadia Quest. It reminds me a lot of pets, where it's like you get an extra act ability and an extra. Uh, uh, Soak basically for damage. Okay. The minis look super cool. So nice, that's nice. Like, that's like the only reason you buy it, right? Like the right. mini looks awesome. Did you look at Song of Fire at all? And Ice? Uh, I did the paint and tape. Well, it's a speed painting. Okay. For uh, but it was, since I'm not going to be here when they do the judging or whatever, I was like, I'm just kidding. This one. And I but, think everybody else was too. There's only like six on the on this display. No. Did you get to play it at all I or no? That one's like the most popular. Like there's just because I guess you can. I mean they're only doing at a table two people. Okay. So like right. and there'll be just a crowd around it. There's only two tables for it. So it's like I might today. That's on my list is to try and like at least hover over to like see what's up. <laughs> Having fun?
Hey folks, so I am about to be playing Ethnos with a group of people who actually asked to play with me. It's kind of weird. So we have two people here already. Eric. Hey. And Eric. <laughs> I have two Erics. Uh, we're waiting on the other two, and then we will play Ethnos. So, if I had this in my hand, I could play this as a set. By itself. One card at least to be a set. That allows me, if I play this, I could put one control token here in this green area. Unless I already had a control token. Because if I need to do this to get another control, I need to play a band two. You can play things in sets based on the type that they are, so here, or based on color as well. When doing so, you declare who is using it. So if I played this green as a set, as a band, I could either say my Merfolk, or I could declare my ally. In doing so, I'm going to get the special power of that. In this game, in this particular setup, it's random chat, we have six particular characters that are in play.
So that wraps up my part one and two of my vlog for the CMON Expo. Now, this was my first time going to this particular convention, and it's also one of the smaller conventions I've ever been to, kind of reminding me of, say, Dice Tower uh, the second year. But overall, I really like this, especially this was a convention that was just for a single publisher. And it was really neat because CMON has really grown over the years. And so it was interesting now to see the different types of games they have from games that are more Euro and then their traditional all out miniatures games. And I just saw some really cool things. But what really stood out to me in this convention was the people, not just the, the convention goers and everyone was super nice at this convention. I don't think I saw anyone getting out of hand or anything like that, but just the staff of the convention, the demos being ran all day by, I believe, volunteers. Those seem to be really going really well. Um, I got to sit in with those and it just, it was this experience that I really enjoyed. Overall, do I recommend this convention? <laughs> absolutely. If you're a fan of Simon games, absolutely. If you're local to the Atlanta area, go for it. But it's probably also worth the trip too if you can get down there because you really do get a chance to sit and play these games and you get to preview things that maybe you wouldn't see. And it helps that the, the swag bag, and that is the one thing I was most impressed. I had heard rumors of the Simon swag bag that thing is impressive. Now, as a special guest, I got a slightly different bag, but I did get to see what was in the convention goers bags. And easily, you're basically being paid to go to this convention. Uh, I know that they got Way of the Panda and they got the Godfather and Council of Four and just so many different promos for Besiege and Zombicide and Rising Sun. Overall, this convention is definitely worth it. It's the perfect amount of time. I think if it had went on for maybe a day longer, I might have felt a little strained on it. Um, it's even worth it if you just go for a day, possibly. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. It was definitely a learning experience for me. I'm looking forward to getting better at these, and I will see you folks soon.